What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to another AC Milan Master League. This is episode number 6. Last time out, we moved up the table. We are now currently in 8th place. So today we are taking on Gaieri, Crotone, and we do have some other big games against Fiorentina and Inter. Now, I'm going to be simulating this match against Gaieri because they're down in 20th place, and I'm possibly going to be playing this game against Crotone, but we're going to be skipping this match against Gaieri, playing, I guess, some of our lower-rated players, see if they can pick up a victory. And uh, I actually installed some new faces, so I'm going to go take a look at that right now, show you guys who I've changed. Roma Magnoli now has his long hair, his beard. I think he looks fantastic. I got all these faces over at Pez Patch. And uh, I'm also going to be showing you we have De La Feu, who has a new face. As you can see right here, he doesn't have that weird thing in the middle of his face that he had. And he actually looks a lot more than he actually does in real life. And we also have Paleta with a shaved head. He looks cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Three players. And look at Labadula. He actually has his tattoos on his forearm, his tattoos on his right elbow. And uh, yeah, I think it adds a lot more realism. I'm going to look to put a few more mods maybe soon change some of the player faces but for right now we're going into this game coming up against Kayeri let's fix up the lineup and see if we can walk out of here with three points so here's how the lineup is we got Donnarumma, Abate, Paleta, Marquinhos, De Chilio, Locatelli, Sosa, Kaká, Ocampos, De La Feu and Gianluca Labadula so a 91 team spirit and I have confidence going into this match against the last place team of the league let's skip this match and see if Milan can pick up a 2-0 victory very nicely done the only thing I don't like about this game is when you skip a match you can't see exactly who scored the goals and we've now moved up to seventh place we are in a Europa League position and we're going to be looking to hold that for next season 18 points five victories three draws and three losses with a six goal differential next match coming up against Crotone and Crotone are in 17th place so we shouldn't have that much of a problem against them let's take them on away from home we are going to be playing this match so we have a few players down in form for this match including Suzo and like I said Suzo hasn't been the best of players but I'm gonna still continue to push him into the lineup we're gonna go hug the sideline and counter target on Baca and I don't exactly know who scored last game but we are going with Donnarumma, Calabria, Marquinhos, Romagnoli, Vangioni, Locatelli, Sosa, Kaká, De La Feu, Jack Bonaventura, and Carlos Baca. Let's get into it away from home. See if we can pick up another three points. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, it's Crotone, so we shouldn't have a hard time, but you never know what could happen in these matches. Anything can happen, especially away from home. Uh, they have the home field advantage. Romagnoli looking very good with his long hair. Hopefully, he can play as good as his hair looks. That's a header. <laughs> and Gigio Donnarumma with a fantastic save right away. The next person I'm going to try to, uh, you know, find a face for is Sosa because I don't like that generic face he has. Let's see if De La Feu can find Baca in the box. That is a pass with too much power. Defender touch is it and that one is gonna go out for a corner here is Sosa to take Sosa gonna whip this one in that's into the box Baca's there trying to get a touch let's see if he can give this back to Vangioni Vangioni into Locatelli Locatelli on the ball Locatelli outside the box going for the shot almost gets taken off and yes he finally does Calabria touch this one down send this forward to De La Feu De La Feu cross this one in good block by Crotone that's a good cross in are we going to go down 1-0? Oh, what a great save. Gigio Donnarumma coming out clutch on that one. Can we find De La Feu? That was a wasted pass by Kaká. But credit has to go down for Donnarumma for keeping the game at 0-0. Locatelli. Vangioni. Vangioni. Gets fouled. It's okay. Let's see if he can send this one over to Bonaventura. That could be a good touch. That one's into the box. Baca's there. Baca. Pushes that one wide. A decent effort. Baca cannot find the back of the net. Here is Bonaventura. Bonaventura Tris skips past the defender. Okay. That's going to be a free kick outside the box. And last episode, remember that free kick from De La Feu? De La Feu from this range. Can he put it into the top left corner? De La Feu takes this one. De La Feu. Over the wall. Over the bar. Let's take a look at that one from another angle. That had the opportunity of going in. De La Feu. Just a bit too much power. I tried a driven curled shot. Does go over the wall. That's the end of the first half. Nil nil. We got ourselves a free kick that did go over the bar. Nothing much else. Donnarumma made a fantastic save at the beginning of the match. And let's get into the second half. Good ball in. 
Some great play, Marquinhos. Try to get that head wide. Mm, Marquinhos jumping a little bit too early on that one. And Trota is going to be scoring. Crotona are the ones who strike first. I said it at the beginning of the match. Even though they're in 17th place, you never know what could happen in football matches. That one gets played through. Marquinhos completely missed his jump. That one is headed past Gigio Donnarumma. And that's going to be 1-0 to Crotone. 55 minutes into the match. Now we're going to have to try to come from behind. Sosa forward to Kaká. Kaká. Can he find Jack? Jack is coming with some speed. Jack has Baca into the box. Can he find Baca? Baca's there. Carlos Baca. Going to be scoring his eighth goal of the season. Good cross in. Baca. Great volley. And that one is into the back of the net. And just like that, it's 1-1. Nothing really happened in the first half besides a free kick and the save by Gigio. And we come here on the counter-attack. Four players back. Baca manages to get that one with his left foot and slots it past the goalkeeper. That's 1-1, 62nd minute. Bonaventura, Baca is still on. Here's Jack. Jack in two. Bertolacci, Bertolacci. Okay, referee plays the advantage and that's going to be a free kick. We've scored from this angle once before and Barberis is going to be getting a caution Bertolacci coming in gets taken down and let's see what we can do from this free kick I don't exactly know who's our best free kick taker now after De La Feu went off and it's Jack Bonaventura I like the left side to use right footed players here is Bonaventura Bonaventura can he put this one in Jack Bonaventura over the wall Jack Bonaventura what a free kick from Giacomo Bonaventura. And Crotone is stunned. They took the lead in the second half. And Jack Bonaventura just puts the game 2-1. Another great free kick. Look at the curl on that one into the back of the net. It's Giacomo Bonaventura. It's the 90th minute he scores that free kick. Now we just need to focus on keeping this lead. And see if we can walk out of here with all three points. Here is Crotone at the end of the match. They're trying to just send it into the box there's Rossi Rossi Calabria get there somebody clear this one away it's Bertolacci he's got time Andrea Bertolacci hold it hold it keep bringing it forward let's see if he can hold it for a bit and that's the end of this match what a way to end it Giacomo Bonaventura what a free kick curling effort over the wall 2-1 victory three points Next match is coming up against Fiorentina and Baca Ocampos and Jack Bonaventura are all down in condition for this match, so they're not even going to be seeing the bench. Donnarumma, Abate, Gomez, Romagnoli, Antonelli. Montolivo is going to be starting just because he's in better condition than Locatelli. Sosa, Kaká, Suzo, De La Feu, and Gianluca Labadula. And Labadula is going to be our only striker for today, so hopefully he doesn't get tired too quickly. Let's get into it coming up at the San Siro. It's a shame that Lapadula for some reason always seems to wear long sleeves so you can't really see the tattoo mod I actually put on him. But nevertheless we are taking on Fiorentina and uh, Fiorentina is a decent side. A decent side might I say but hopefully we can beat them just like we did in real life. Romagnoli good block but it goes back to Zuba. That's into Ilicic. Ilicic hits off the post. Ilicic gets his own rebound and we're split open straight away. It's Fiorentina who strikes first. Past both of the defenders and it's Josep Ilicic who's going to be scoring the goal. Romagnoli did make a challenge but couldn't hang on to the ball. Good ball over the top. Ilicic hits off the post. That one's into the back of the net. No chance for Gigio Donnarumma. And 13 minutes in. We've gone down 1-0. Suzo. Can he find Gianluca Labadula? Gianluca Labadula is around the defender. Gianluca Labadula. And right away, right away after they score, we've scored. We've hit them back. It's 1-1. And it's Gianluca Labadula. Our strikers finally decided they wanted to score in these past couple of games. Good play right off kickoff. Abate to Suzo. Suzo, good ball in. And Labadula breaks around the defender who was clueless and just toe pokes it into the back of the net. It's 1-1. End of the first half. 1-1. Goal scored by Labadula. And Ilicic scored for Fiorentina. It should maybe, I don't know, we shouldn't have conceded those goals. Benadeski, good block by Sosa. Sosa forward to Abate. 
Abate Suzo. Suzo. Can't. No, referee. That is absurd. That is absolutely, absolutely absurd. Radeski in. Don't know how they still have the ball. That's a ball into Ilicic. Are you serious? Are you serious, referee? Are you kidding me? The sliding challenge on Suzo did not get called. They come back and they score. And it's Josep Ilicic. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Right away. The referee doesn't even bat his eye. Gets around Gustavo Gomez into Ilicic. And Ilicic scores. There should have been a foul on the plate. They're probably going to be talking about that one in the newspapers in the morning. The referees in Italy are completely useless. It's now 2-1 for Fiorentina. And we don't have that much time. Can we just send this ball forward? Can we just send this ball forward? Labadula's there. Labadula trying to go for something. That's going to be put up. Come on. No, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Is that going to be the end of the match? Yes, that's going to be the end of the match. 2-1 victory for Fiorentina here at home. I can't even believe that. Referee, how did you not call that? It was right in front of your face. 2-1 victory for Fiorentina. And we walk out of here with no points. So here's the end of the month report. After four matches, we picked up three victories. One against Lazio, one against Cagliari, one against Crotone, and one loss to Fiorentina. Don't mind the match against Monaco. That's just the games I'm trying to lose to get myself knocked out of the Europa League. Bacca, Bonaventura, and Labadula are our top goal scorers. Bacca with three. Abate, Bonaventura, and Suzo with one assist each. Bacca with the highest average rating in the past four games. De La Feu has actually made it to the team of the month for November. Uh, he's been playing well, some good goals, and uh, yeah, that's what I like to see. The final match of the episode is coming up against Inter. Internazionale, they have Icardi as one of the top goal scorers in the league, and they're going to be a tough team to play against. We're taking them on, obviously, at the San Siro. Let's get into it right away and see if we can walk out of here and end this episode with three points. Okay, so a few condition problems. Baca is not feeling it. Donnarumma is down in condition as well, but he's still going to get the start. Donnarumma, Abate, Paleta, Gomez instead of Romagnoli because him and Paleta are in excellent condition. Vangioni, Locatelli, Kuchka, Kaká, Suzo, De La Feu, and Gianluca Labadula, who is in great form and has been scoring a lot of goals. We are taking on Inter, a very good team at the San Siro. I do not know why Donnarumma is in poor condition. He's been playing well besides, well, maybe that game against Fiorentina. I don't know. I don't know. That game against Fiorentina was just all over the place. The referee didn't call a foul on stupidity. There's Paletta with his bald head. <laughs> Kaká the captain. Labadula the striker. Hopefully, Suzo can, you know, pick his game up because he hasn't been the best of players. Icardi kicking us off. Let's do this at the San Siro. Here's Suzo trying to take it around. Here's Suzo. Good ball. Kaká into Labadula. Labadula's in the box. Labadula's there. Gianluca Labadula scores right away. It's Gianluca Labadula. He breaks the deadlock straight away in the Derby de la Madonina and then celebrates with the corner flag. Inter's defense completely caught off guard on that one. And Kaká is going to be getting a very nice assist on that one. Suzo, good play. Look at that run by Labadula through Miranda, through Kajer. And that one is into the back of the net. I think it's Kajer or Kajer. And we've struck first three minutes in. Inter should be stunned. Eder Riccardi. Eder. Eder. Good save. Gigio Donnarumma. Gianluigi Donnarumma. Even in poor condition. He's making some good saves. We gave the ball away on that one, which we shouldn't be doing. And here Inter have a corner where they can potentially get back into the match. Here's Banega. Banega whips that one in. That's a headed. No, oh, of course. Of course. It's Ivan Perisic. He put the Croatian flag back on his head. And he's going to be scoring that goal straight after we scored. Not even three minutes later. Ivan Perisic scores and Inter are level. This is going to be a one hell of a match. It's 1-1. Here's Icardi. Icardi. Good blow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's Evar Banega. What a strike by Ever Banega. I cannot even be mad about that one. Let's take a look at this replay. Eder tried to get that one into Icardi. Icardi, a first time shot. Gigio Donnarumma cannot get to that one. That was incredibly placed by Banega. Top left corner, bar down. 
2-1 for Inter, 35 minutes in. And that's the end of the first half, what a half. Two goals for Inter, one for us through Labadula. I thought we were going to be in a good position after that first goal, but gave away the lead, and now we have another 45 minutes to try and walk out of here with the victory. 43% possession for Inter. We have 57, but three shots and only one on target. Everywhere I go, there's two or three players on me. Kuchka, can he turn? Yes, here's Juraj Kuchka. Juraj Kuchka, let's go for a shot outside the box. Juraj Kuchka! I had nobody to give that one to, so I just decided, you know what, let's take a shot with Kuchka. That one goes wide of the post. Good turn on Banega. He's trying to do exactly what Banega did from a different angle. Decent strike, wide of Andanovic. It looks like Baca's gonna come on to see if he can salvage anything, even though he's not in the best of conditions. But at least he has the legs to maybe finish this match. Kuchka, Kaka, Kaka. Can he get this one into Baca? Baca there. Baca's in the box. Baca gonna go for the shot. Carlos Baca, yes! It's Carlos Baca coming on. Ninth goal of the season. He saves us. It's 2 2 in the 88th minute. Great play, referee has been calling nothing this match. All Inter's way, Kaka, Baca won around Miranda and Carlos Baca in the box. Even on poor condition, that finishing does not let him down. It's 2-2, let's see if we can maybe hold this lead or I don't know, maybe try and go put in another one. We have some more time left in this match and no, we're just giving the ball away. Do not give this ball away. Vangioni, yes, Kaka. Kaka Locatelli, Locatelli, forward to Sosa, Sosa, Baca, Baca has got look, uh, Kaka, Kaka. Can we find Baca in the box? That's a good ball, Baca, Baca. Can he turn Baca? Let's go for the shot. Carlos Baca, yes, it's Carlos Baca. Comes on and scores two goals. That's number 10 for him. How does he score with his left foot? And like I said at the beginning of the game, poor condition. The finishing does not let him down. Kaka, Inter just completely switched off. It's rare that Baca scores with his left foot, but look at that goal from him. And Inter should be stunned. That is two late winners this episode. One from, I think it was Bonaventura on the free kick. And this time from Baca, we just need to focus on keeping this. Come on, get this one. Get this one, boys. That's the end of this match. Yes! 3-2 victory, three points. Can I say it's deserved? No. Donnarumma, poor condition. He let in maybe some goals that shouldn't have gone in, but five goals in this Derby della Madonnina. And it's Carlos Baca who's going to be getting the two goals that win us the game. Seven shots, four on target. Inter, how did they not win this match? Baca is going to be getting the man of the match and I think it was Labadula yes it was Gianluca Labadula who scored the other goal Labadula and Baca getting on the score sheet three points so at the end of this episode we are now in sixth place with 24 points seven victories three draws four losses a game against Fiorentina possibly could have been avoided but we have 23 goals for uh, right under Inter. Inter is the top scoring team in the league and then there's Napoli and then there's us So we're scoring goals this season. That's what I like to see 16 goals against which is I don't know could have a little bit less But nevertheless, that's how this episode is going to be ending. What a thriller The January transfer market is fast approaching and Labadula has Gained the protege level one team role more experience points earned per match and master player skills faster So Labadula is gonna be getting some further boost Baca right under Higuain with 10 goals Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed and I will see you next time Do it do what just do it, okay? Do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed! Oh. Follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! But I can't! Yes, you can! Oh, okay.